inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. What's up mga kabibes? So today, nandito tayo sa Donuts Coffee Shop para part ng ating journey sa ating uh, card hobby. So with me, nandito si Kuya RJ Garuito and yung in charge at Donuts Hobby Shop, si Sir Kenneth. Ayan. So for today, vlog namin yung mga gagawin namin dito sa Jonat Hobby Shop especially yung pag turnover namin ng mga cards and toys na yeah, ipapa consign namin dito sa shop and as well as vlog namin yung shop ko anong makikita nyo dito sa Jonat Hobby Shop so before kami mag start guys uh, magkain muna kami <laughs> so we got uh, pizzas for snacks so let's go go Professional. <laughs> 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 Okay, it's a texture. 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 It's a So yun, magsasort lang si RJ ng card. Tapos prepare namin yung, yung tray para ma-display dito sa Jonat. So, mag-pick ano lang ako. Uh, store tour. So, ito yung in charge. Si Sir Ken. Pares kami yung pangalan. So, Kenneth, Kenny ka. So, Kenneth pala. So, yung kanya yung workstation. Nilagyan namin ng pizza. Ayan, mga tools. Kung gusto nyo mag-customize ng Gundam. Ayan, nag-customize again. Pwede rin kayo mag-build dito. Kung gusto nyo nyo i-build yung binili nyo yung Gundam. Ayan yung mga available. Tapos yung mga toys. Ayan, napakarami. So, hindi lang sila sa Gundam. May mga ano rin sila, variant din sila ng iba't ibang toys. So, meron sila dito ayan, mga papa parade na action figure sa ito at akong titan meron silang si Aaron Yeager na and then yung attack titan form niya ayan, sword art online yung iba din familiar nice ito 
Yan, mga pop-up parades ng uh, action figures. Dito din. Yan, available ito sa page nila. Makikita nyo kung gusto nyo bumili. Yan. So, may tanong ko sa'yo, Sir Ken. Ano yung pinaka, ano dito, expensive Gundam na available sa Jonat Sabi Shop? Mm, I think ang pinakamahal. Sige. I think, wait. Huli ko ang step ladder, actually. Kasi ah, sige. dito ang area for premium buyers talaga. Ah, sige. So, top shelves ang actually. Ah, buyers. ayun. Nandun po taas. So, ano, suit niya pala ito. Doodle Tunes na... Merch available Ayun, din dito sa Jonat Sabi Shop. Napaganda. Ito na yung gawa ni Lord, no? Yes, ito yung gawa ni Lord Jim Jasso uh, na for design sa Doodle Tunes. Available, uh, available siya ngayon sa shop. So, available and, sa shop and sa shop din. This one is our most expensive. Wow. Yeah. This is the... Ano ka niya? Uh, mobile, uh, Gundam Unicorn Extreme MGX. Wait, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. This one comes with full accessories. So, that's the details. You can change the color on the fly to red, blue, or green. It comes with stand. All known accessories from the entire unicorn armory. And then, the box. You can actually have the unique base that ah, is customized to the suit. Kasama na yung base niya. Yes. Also with the iconic uh, tri psycho frame. Mm. So the base, the cage, and the uh, clamps can be used Clamp. in one set. Mm. And based on this strip, this is actually a unique strip of LED lights. Uh, oh, pwede like so. Mobile suit RX0. So this is one of our best kits. Second most expensive dito uh, is actually this one. Holy Grail. This is the second one. Wow, Gundam base. This is Korean made. Mm. From uh, Gundam base, Korea. You can tell it's from Korea because the back is actually made of bamboo covering. Mm. Made in Japan but manufactured in Korea. Korea. Bandai. This is the Unicorn Gundam Perfectibility. This is in Master Grade 1-100. Yeah, it comes with the ultimate pack from all three kinds of Gundam or with sister Gundams. It's from the Phoenix, the Banshee, and the Unicorn. So all three combined to become the perfectibility. This didn't came out from the series but from a video game. Ah, okay. so this is from the Gundam base. It's actually limited. Ganda. You need to get you need to actually order this from the Gundam base. Yeah. Nice. nice. We actually also have other types of kits here. So, for example, uh, may new bit dito, sir, na gusto mong mag-start na mag-build ng Gundam. So, ano yung recommend nyo? Na starting Gundam kit or Gundam na pwede nilang i-build? So, kung mga beginner sila, ma-recommend ko talaga mag-start sila somewhere around from tinatawag namin ng SD. SG. Which is stands for super deformed. Ito yung mga maliliit, which is small sila in scale, but very easy to use. You can probably, even with a decent nipper, you can assemble this by only one R mm. or lesser. But we have a new entry, which is actually came out this year. Um, the reissue of the classics of the WF. This is from the classic 90s. Oh. It's reissued, but. Mm. Don't be fooled. It's actually detailed. It's mm. very good. It also comes with the action figure of the pilot. It's actually cheaper. It's below 500. Mm. If you buy it in the store in our shop, it's actually only worth 440. Nice. So you get a discount. Eh? Nice. This is actually cheaper. Ah, ganda. Oh. Ganda. That side. Mm. It's my model na no pilot. I'm not sure we have but we actually have pop the Hololive. Uh, this is actually for the more popular of the younger teens. Oh yeah. The Hololive. The Gamer Girl Kayu and the Gamer Dog for Coronet. Uh, detail underwear. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, no. Detail yeah. detail underwear. Yeah. 
Oh, I me in the Japan. <laughs> so, yeah. Yang nasa taas, ano yan siya? Uh, that is actually what you call a round box. I don't, don't ask why it's round and uh, it's called a box, but that's what it's actually called. It's a round box. Um, entry grade. Para it's saan? actually used for Christmas time. But actually, it's been one year now. This is the old stock. Uh, uh, the food maybe have been expired, but it's still good. Ah, it's, food, yeah. No, it's food and a uh, model kit. It's actually for uh, entry grade. You don't need a nipper, you just pull it out. So, uh, there's a, for example, there are runners. Uh, you simply you don't need a nipper, you just pull it out and then assemble it. Uh, so, what it looks like, I can show you. Um, where are you? This is what it looks like. Ah, okay. inside the box. It's plain, it's simple, you don't need any tools, you pull the runner, you assemble, and you get this simple yet very sturdy kit. Nice. Simple, it's perfect Christmas gift. Comes with, actually the red one sold out, and we only have the blue one. So another question, uh, if you build ba ng Gundam, well, uh, what are the basic tools uh, they need? Para makabiyag. Kung so, basic tools naman na kailangan nila, we okay. can already recommend uh, three three kinds. The first is actually of course the nipper. Nipper. And actually the, the others are actually optional, but we recommend uh, actually having at least a tweezer and sanding sticks. Sample so sample of, uh, of a tiger. Sample of a nipper is actually this one. Okay. Mm. We sure. have a different. We have many kinds of tweezers actually. For tweezers, actually the offset, or better yet, as the precision, which is actually small. I uh, usually put this when you want something to uh, use uh, stickers and put mm. them on, on the model kit. And then we have the base clamp. This is actually just for in case na meshadong sharp yung edges na decals. If you don't want to damage the decals, use this. And this one, if you have a decal, for example, it's inside of the oh, line in between. You need tweezers to actually reach them from the inside. Mm. So, to avoid any scratches, you also need to pick the one that isn't sharp. Most tweezers are actually sharp. So, mm. this is a heavy grade, this is not sharp. But this is also stainless. Mm. Nice. Five years, not a single rust. Oh, cool. Nice. And then this one, what is this for? Ano ano mga ano to? Ano yung mga? Uh, this one, that? this is actually optional, but I recommend uh, getting this. These are called uh, Gundam markers. Uh, the abbreviations are GM. They start from zero one to up to higher number. But zero one, two, and three, they are what you call panel lines. These are called panel lines. Um, so you can ask me what the tailing. Yeah. Yes. What are panel lines? <clears throat> For example, this is called the panel line. Mm -hmm. the, tip, uh, the tip of a panel line is actually, if you can see, the tip is very small. Mm -hmm. Use them to put on the very edges to add detail. Mm -hmm. You see this um, edge etching? Mm -hmm. You put if you if you add a panel line, you can give it even better detail. Mm. You can pick it uh, black, brown, or gray. I recommend gray on something like colored like yellow, mm. or something uh, natural color like white. But if you want something to be very vibrant, you can put brown on the yellow or red parts. This is brown. If you add brown and yellow, it affect, it, it gets darker and it turns black. Yeah, uh, color na yes. match the... This is actually one of the, our customers. Mm. The uh, the red spots, if you can see, mm. these are not these are actually used with pen. Mm. This one, this is customized. Mm. The green ones are placed with metallic uh, metallic green. The eyes are, of course, you can see it, it's metallic green. And the other parts of the red ones are actually metallic red. Nice. So, we are going for the tailing. There are many pens here at the workstation. There are different kinds of pens. So, basically, pens are actually for uh, not advanced, but people who want to try something 
out of their workspace, for example, you have been trying stickers, you don't like stickers, so we're good markers. You don't like markers, you can, we can actually also recommend paints. Mm -hmm. we, we don't recommend paints for obvious reasons because using mm -hmm. paints mm -hmm. are expensive, they, they are messy, and they require time and skills. Actually, mm -hmm. if you made a mistake, you don't have, you don't have yeah. the tools. You have to regress backwards. You need to order it again. You need to find how do I remove this paper without you know destroying the progress. And I can give you an example. This is an example of a painted kit. This is what it looks like when fully customized with what you call um, rusting, um, smudge, sanding, and a little bit of detail. You can tell that uh, most of the kits here is actually custom painted. Uh, at first people think uh, the metallic, yes. And then I adjusted a little bit and I made the rust turn into orange rust for something metallic. And then natural brown, brown rust for something like the white ones. And then if you add a little bit of sand, it looks natural rust. So maybe later, uh, the day, <laughs> um, Kenny will see this is actually a uh, I'm still waiting for cure. Uh, pro tip, curing and drying are different things. Drying mm. is the process of the simply just drying off. And you can actually make quick changes while it's still drying. But once it's fully cured, it gets very hard. So, mm. protein. Only cure when you are happy. So, dito niya lang yung makikita guys na customize ganda kung gusto niyo yung mga tools yan, pag customize so yan, visit niya lang dito sa Jonats yan, marami silang mga posters stickers ayan, ito gawa ng kaibigan namin si Lord a few moments later ayan si so ito si kaya RJ nagpe-prepare ng cards Ayan. Mm. And ito na supporting cast sham. Supporting cast. Pero soon magano rin yan siya dito. Mag display na rin yan siya. Oh, kita niyo rin yan siya dito. Mente ko rin yung abroad. <laughs> so if you want uh, NBA cards, um, toys, Gundam, so you can visit Donuts Hub Shop. Ayan, may mga match din sila dito na Doodle Tunes. So ayan, nakita niyo mga design. Really? Also designed by Lord Jim Dustin. Uh, most oh, nice. of this uh, designed by Lord. So yung nagpinta nito, yung kaibigan namin si Lord Jim Jason, si Warlords. So ayan, yung mga shirts. Ito, Gundam Designs. Ayan. So available yan dito sa Jonat's Hobby Shop guys. Visit nyo lang. So ilalagay namin yung uh, address details sa end ng video. <laughs> Ito na guys, na ano na yung trays. Yun yung mga parts. Copyright. Ah. Okay. Ayan, nag-redish ko yung RG ng mga parts na din. Huwag ka kakasin yun siya. Sabado. Ang kakwa nito. So, meron tayong first na customer, si Sham. Uh, bumili siya ng 150 na repack. So, tingnan natin kung ano uh, laman itong repack kung book niya ba o panalo. So, yun. Nakita ko. <laughs> so, yan yung mga repacks na dito. So, 80 pesos pati 150. So, sintahan natin yung ano ni Sham. So, first card. Liquid. Uh, Whoa! Sarap. Sarap. Gane, sarap. Kailangan sarap. Sarap na ba? Oo. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ayan. Ay, shamit. Mm -hmm. Ang dishamit. Tapos, sino yan? Nicola Meto. Meli. Oo, ano yan? Meli. Meli pala Meto. Oy, Nicolas Batum. Batum. 
So then, wow, Excalibur. Excalibur. Jared Solinger. Solinger. So then, Alor Ford. Sino pa yan? Si Terence. Terence. Asper Gasson. Kylian Hayes. RC. Walang ano pala, walang slips. Yeah. Oh, Holo na Williams pa po si Leandro. Oh, isa pa, isa pa. So, ayan. Pero may hit dyan, may ilagay ako dyan. May ano, lamelo. Tapos isang kwad, jamoran. Wow. Tapos mga ano, mga... Parallel. So, ayan, ready na. Pinipiksura na lang ni Kuy Sarge dito. Tapos yung i-display dun sa tray. So, ito yung pang pop up. So, ayan. So, thank you, Shab. Miss ko, Shab. So, yun lang guys, uh, na-arrange na namin yung mga cards and pa yung ipakonsign namin sa Jonats. So, yun, uh, alis na kami ni Kuya RJ and ito na yung aming uh, outro. So, maraming salamat guys. So, kung gusto nyo ng NBA cards and stuff, toys, Gundam and merch, so visit nyo lang yung Jonats Hobby Shop dito sa Cotabato City. Ililink namin sa description yung kanilang Facebook page para ma ano nyo yung address. So that is for the, that is that is it for today guys. So if you like this video, so if you like this video, kindly hit like. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell para ma wake up kung may paripago tayong videos. So that is all. <laughs> so yun lang guys. Peace. Bye. Bye.